What's going on everybody? This is Lauren with TMF Apparel USA and I am going to give you a quick rundown of White Rip 7.0, uh, the RIP software that I'm using with my Epson 3880 DTG printer. Um, I chose White Rip for a few reasons. Um, now with my other printer I have Cathari that came with the 3Jet 330 and I liked Cathari. I liked a lot of the features it had and uh, I was going to go with Cathari for the 3880 but I couldn't get a demo of it and was told it was going to look a little different than what I'm used to so I opted to go with White Rip. Now White Rip did provide a demo software that um, let me set it up and print with it. Um, a couple things that I'll go over real quick here uh, your print options right here you've got uh, these base colors now these are one of the things that I really liked about the White Rip is you had all of these different uh, basically preset environments and you can change the settings on them accordingly I did like that a lot um, and I'm gonna go over that here in just a minute you've got your color management this has an ICC profile uh, kinda leave that alone um, you've got your ink limits set by individual channels which I like and like I said this is all for your uh, different uh, presets here your uh, ink assignment for your uh, ink cartridges you can change those around if you needed to. They don't have to remain the same. So I do like that as well. And your ink curve, I kind of leave that alone most of the time. Um, in your rip option setting, you've got the normal, uh, normal settings here, your rip quality, your uh, print mode, um, previews, printer, program options, all that's kind of the same. Don't mess with that a whole lot. Um, this is your basic uh, intro screen here. You do have some editing tools to uh, edit your media if you don't have it correct when you uh, pull it up there. You've got recent files that you've printed. Um, you also have a full print queue here. If you just needed to reprint something, you can do that. You can just grab it right here, right click, print just that file. You can also see all of the settings that it printed. So I do like that a lot. It does have in here also an ink calculator. Um, I don't use that much, doesn't really affect my pricing a whole lot. Um, the next thing I'm going to pull up here is more of the area that you're going to use the most. Let me uh, just click this up. This is your table view of your print setup. Let me get back to it on my screen. Um, and what we have here is we set up our print table as far as this is the entire uh, print area. Now my 3880 does have a longer wider print uh, bed than some of the other printers and uh, so I keep that in mind mine's actually a 16 by 20 so my print bed is set up for that and the guys over at white ripped helped me set up my default table settings so that was a uh, very helpful of them and we can look at a uh, template manager here you can see we've got different table settings if you had different platens you wanted to put on this is the one that I run here full table um, now on your full table setting you've got your generic fabric media I'll leave that alone I've got my print environment now this is what I like a lot about white rip is your print environment so you've got black fabric colored fabric dark fabric white fabric these all settings are all going to be uh, single pass prints so it's going to be a wet on wet for black dark and colored and then white's going to print only the color set spectrum. So if you choose any of these, 1440, 2880, 720, your printer is going to lay down white ink followed by color ink in the same pass if your printer is capable of doing so. Um, I don't use these settings here. I don't print on them. I know some people do. I prefer not to because I don't feel like the print is as vibrant when you lay it down like that. So I don't use them. But there are people that do use them. The settings that I use the most are going to be black media 2 pass, color media 2 pass, dark media 2 pass, and then white fabric. So if I'm printing on anything that's a black shirt, um, I would select black media 2 pass 1440. And you see we have a black background here. I drag in my image uh, into the software. And I'm just going to pull in another, uh, another image here just for a reference. Give me a second here we're gonna drag something in <coughs> and you can print off of uh, PSDs PNGs 
JPEGs, um, a lot of different options here. I usually print uh, PNGs or PSDs myself. So what I can do is pull in a file like this. Now, this file has a lot of black, it's a photo. When we print on black media to pass, what this does is it treats all this black as transparent and it's not gonna lay down any black ink. And you, when you print this, your white underbase is gonna be a real nice light gradient fade off of where all of this fades off into the shirt. And then your color is gonna be uh, printing on top of that. And honestly, it is a flawless execution on their part. When you look at this shirt, when it's printed, it looks exactly like this. There is no weird edge or anything like that there, uh, which is what I really was looking for, is to be able to remove that. Now, I know some of the other softwares have like Knockout Black. I tried them. It was not the same, not even close. So this was by far a superior RIP software. You know, it's right in line with Cathari. The price point for me was right in line with Cathari as well. Um, your resolution here, I always print 1440, 1440. Um, directional, you've got uni and bi-directional, like the other softwares. And then your, your uh, order, you can do no ink, you can do only color, only white, white first, then color, color first, then white. So if you're using this for DTF printing, you can uh, print it accordingly. If you want to print multiple passes on a, on a transfer of color, you can do that. Select only color. You can knock down your your uh, per ink percent levels and run multiple passes. Um, if you were doing only white, you can do that as well and just bump that up and down. So super helpful uh, in, in allowing you to test that. You know, sometimes I'll get a, a questionable nozzle check and I'll want to run it multiple times. And just to make sure that my white pass is good, I really layer it up and I can do that. I can just hit that and run only white and that is super helpful. Um, helps me from wasting a shirt for sure because uh, we all know how much of that sucks when you go to print something and you uh, end up with a subpar print it's pretty frustrating so sometimes I'll run an only one only under base print um, you can also double check and change your channel choke right here and choke it out um, and you can set like I said you can set your adjustments on all of those um, aligning it is easy, resizing it is easy, your, your width, height of your actual print set right here on the software, your positioning, I position top center, and then you can put down, you know, your, your gap from the top of your platen, which I like. Uh, you can, you can check that, you can image rotate, you can flip it horizontally, vertically, you can layer multiple images on here and change how they look. I personally don't do that, but you certainly could. And then when you go to print it, printing it and ripping it is very simple. You hit print. You've got print after rip, rip only. Uh, if you just wanted to rip them and see the, the estimated times and settings, you could do that. Um, so this is one of the things I really like about white rip. Now, if we go to, like, say, color media to pass, it's going to change the background color, which you can edit right here and change it to whatever color shirt you'd want it to look like. <clears throat> and then you have... Um, Whoop, quite a few uh, options up here that you can go through. So if you want to see what your design would look like on a different color shirt, you can do that. And keep in mind, a color pass, just like a dark, is going to put a white underbase under all color pixels. So if I was to print this image on a color shirt, it's going to have all black all around it. So when you're doing something with a black background like that, if you don't want a big black square, you're going to have to run that on a black shirt, which is what I'm used to. Um, as far as the print speed goes, I've been very happy with the print speed of White Rip. I think it does a phenomenal job. It's it's quick, it's efficient. I do uh, I do like that about it for sure. It's gonna knock that back, and uh, you know you can you can line up all your files here. One other thing, I'm gonna pull up. But I'm just gonna go back to my table because I uh, figure I should mention this. If you have a bunch of designs, you can see they're stacked up on the left side here you can actually save this layout and it will save it like let's just pick uh, this one here it'll save this exactly as it was in a separate file it's not your actual um, PSD or PNG file this is a separate print file that only white rip uses which stores all of your print settings for the color shirt the ink resolution the ink percentage everything is saved in here so you can load in all of your um, different designs and save them out like you see here like I have a whole bunch of them 
and I can just double click that pulls it up it's already scaled centered where I want it and I know that's uh, what I'm used to printing so you can save them out which is awesome and then they kind of stack up up here you can see I've got a bunch of different tables open and this is all based off of my standard default table uh, print setting so that's super helpful as well a lot of times I just run a whole bunch of them at once and uh, that way I can just go back and forth with my, my popular design so I do like that also about white rip a good bit um, the software is light I mean it's easy to use overall I haven't really had any issues in um, with, with using it you know no real crash issues or anything like that I have done use the edit image uh, feature on it before to do some different um, effects on it just for ease of use just because I was already in it but like I said most of the time I go ahead and pull my files into Photoshop and edit them there but if you're looking for a quality rip software white rip is definitely highly recommended by me I use it on my 3880 it is um, printer specific so you can't use it with multiple printers all the time like I, I could to use it on my R2400 I need a different license key for that it's different print settings um, I think that's just a way for them to kind of secure their software and corner the market so keep that in mind you know there's not a whole lot of rips that are going to allow you to run multiple different printers off of one software you could run it too if you had several 3880s or 3800s you could use the same rip to run those but it's not going to allow you to run you know an epson a brother um, you know different models of different printers so if you guys found this helpful give my video a like or give us a subscribe and if there's some questions that you might want uh, answered about white rip or about the printers in general leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to them so until next time happy printing